Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore north of the Mistwoods. This area. Starting with whatever that is. I hear a ball. I hear a dung beetle. Oh, it's one of the exploding ones. Explosion ahead. Oh, there's another painting in here. Could this be a snow? Homing Instinct painting. Artist's Shack. It's a lot of ruins around here. Oh, it looks like there's a graveyard there. And then something pretty significant there. Some ruins there. Let's head over to the graveyard first, though. Sorry, Torrent. Yeah, yeah, go. That's the first one of that I've found. Favor's cookbook? Key items, was it? Oh no, I found one other before, apparently. Sleep pot. way up there with these gravestones. Oh yeah, there's a building there too. Well, wait, I think there's another grave on the other side. Uh, it's probably better to come down than go up here. Uh, yeah, there's <laughs> no, there's a lot of bloodstains there. No, no. Let's go down. And check out these ruins over here. Third Church of Marika. Crim 
Crimson Crystal Tear. Crimson usually has to do with bleeding. How many... Yeah, it still takes three golden seeds to upgrade. I wonder if that'll increase to four at some point. Oh, yeah. Since I found out the green spill crystal tier only raises your max stamina, doesn't increase regeneration. Given that it doesn't raise it by that much, I'm going to switch that out. But I wanted to look at Crimson. Restore half of total HP in mixed physic. Ah. Oh. Eh. Yeah, I'd prefer this steadily restores HP. Which is what I'm going to replace the green spill with. Talk to Melina? Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Please do. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors. I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Let's check out this stuff up here by going from the bridge. Because I've never actually been over the bridge. Most I ever got was just to this enemy. Another one playing music. They're playing the same thing as the other one. Oh dear. You might I terribly sorry. Uh are you here as a customer? Let's buy all the smithing stones just because. Cookbook, yes. Halberd. Just a halberd called a halberd. I guess this is the prototypical model. 14 strength. I only need one more strength to be able to use that, actually. One-handed, anyway. Long-handled polearm that combines the functions of both axe and spear. Bandit mask. Can you even see out of that thing? <laughs> it just looks like wearing a sack over your head. Ooh, a note on flame chariots. It's fine, don't worry. Beware the fire monks' chariots bearing the faces of giants. A well-aimed blow to the chimney on top may prove effective, but opportunities for a plunging attack will be rare indeed. Hmm. So the chimney can be effective if you can get at them from above. But yeah, otherwise, just go for the back. Those are the, I think those are the things that shoot fire at you. That has the person operating it in the back. I gotta see these messages. Ah, dog. Rat! Let there be attacking! No! No, no, no. Leave the little Pope alone. Didn't expect dog. Dragon ahead. Dragon, rat, dog. God. Turtles are anything and everything.
I'm not gonna bother killing them. Is this body special somehow? Enemy, all the more visions of lovable sort? Huh. Oh, hey. Oh, there's another mariner. One of those ghosts in their ships. You know, I bet they only appear at night, but let's test that. Oh, they're still there. Summon Water Village. Skeleton Militiamen Ashes. These are the spirits of militiamen who live in death and will continue to rise again until properly finished off. This is the grotesque fate of those who come into contact with Deathroot. Ah, so it's the Deathroot that makes them like that. One looks like it's talking to the other one. The other one's listening. His mouth is moving. <laughs> looks like it's beckoning. Come here, come here, come closer. Armament ahead, but help me. Wait, armament? No 
that one's just for FP, or not FP, um, healing potions. <laughs> Look at all the turtles. Cave ahead. Ah. Finally, a use for my stone sword keys. Be wary of dog. Oh, well, look at all these dogs. Fort dog. <laughs> Didn't expect dog. First off, dog. Oh, green turtle talisman. Raises stamina recovery speed. Ooh. A talisman in the shape of a green turtle. Turtles are known as a nutritious ingredient, symbolic of inexhaustible power. However, those who hold turtles to be wise creatures consider the practice of eating their meat to be barbarous. Yeah, I would never eat a turtle. Do I want that instead of enhancing guard counters? Ooh. That's kind of a toss up for me. I think it's probably more important than enhancing guard counters. It depends on how much it increases your stamina recovery speed. There's some other small runes nearby. Raise the pickle. Bug ahead. Wait, what are they talking about? Like, which which direction are they? going. I don't know, but there doesn't seem to be anything else here. Okay, there's some more small ruins there, although... That's kind of getting into the reddish territory. I don't know if I want to go that far. Let's not. There's a little graveyard over here, off the cliff. There's an item down there along with a big bear. Let's go fight it. Oh my god. Maybe we don't need to. Oh, good luck, doggies. Oh, they don't stand a chance against that bear. Ah, I'm trying to help you. Yeah. 
She did a lot of poise damage. Good job, doggies. Yeah, we did it. I refuse to kill them. Ah, rain. Oh yeah, so how much faster is my stamina recovery speed? Use up a bunch of stamina. Okay. Ooh, that is quite a bit faster, I think. That's really fast. Now let's go find that sending gate. Grail's Dragon Barrow. Whoa. Oh my. There's a lot to the east, isn't there? Ah, that's an enemy. <laughs> that's an enemy, I can target it. It's not a statue. Oh, Christ. What have I gotten myself into? Please tell me it opens. Ah, oh, yes. Bestial Sanctum. Hand over death root. Or talk. Uh, let's talk. I don't think they have much to say. Okay, <laughs> you can have my death root. I guess I might as well give them all, right? Whoa, that just gave me a lot. I guess each one gives you some stuff. Ash of War, Beast's Roar. Beast Chill Vitality. Is, is that an incantation? Beast Chill Sling. Claw Mark Seal. Is that a... Wait, what is that? It looks like it's a ranged weapon from the icon. Beast Eye. That's a key item. Okay, we have a lot. Um, the roar, maybe? No. No, no, no. Let's start with key items. Set to tremble when close to death root. Claw marked stone eye received from... How is their name pronounced? Garonk? Beast clergyman. Set to tremble when near death root. The murky violet iris rides as if alive. I am not sated. Feed me more. Death. Yeah, these were incantations. Oh, it sounds like interesting spells. Flings a number of sharp rock shards. And this one I can actually wield. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that, though, because I can't use it without, like, a... What is it? A chime? We have a roar. Yeah, beast's roar. 
Grants an armament the keen affinity and the following skill. Beast's roar unleash a beastly roar, rending the air as a forward traveling projectile. Usable on all melee armaments. Then we also got a ranged weapon? How's that a ranged weapon? Oh, is that like a chime, basically? Or a, a seal? Sacred seal granted by Garonk, the beast clergyman. A rare trinket which allows incantations to be scaled with strength. Oh. The claw mark represents Garonk's wrath. Enhances bestial incantations learned from Garonk. Oh my god, what the f- Fuck, that scared the shit out of me! Um... They look ready to pounce. Do they want... Uh, are, are they suddenly my enemy? What's... what's going on? Mm. No, no, no. Jesus Christ. Are they so bloodthirsty they can't help themselves? Right, well hopefully they're... Next time we get a death root and want to come back, hopefully they're not like that. Yeah, friendship required ahead, therefore be wary of revenge. Oh, whoa, whoa, one hit KO. What a spell. It tracks you too. I thought it would just go straight out the door. I mean, do I have to just kill them now if I, like, uh, they asked for more death root though. I can't give them more death root if they're dead. Thank God they're too big to leave. All right, I want to try fighting them. I'm just curious. Black Blade Kindred. Oh, it's a boss. Whoa! One hit KO as well. This place is nasty. I I don't think I'm ready for this place. I'll try again though. I guess. I don't know, let's just try um close quarters, but I think I'd rather do this. Look at how much health they have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they kill me in one fucking hit. That's, I, I can't. Like, there's, there's just no practical way. That would require a ridiculous level of precision to literally avoid getting hit. That renders all of my potions completely useless. Because it doesn't matter. There's no point in healing, you die in one hit. 
I need to get out of one hit KO range if I want to have any hope of fighting that thing. Curious if we can go back to the table of lost grace and be like, hey, so I fed death root to that person and now they're trying to kill me. Who was it? Was it you? You've met Garank, I take it. Yes. Then owing to our duties shared, we are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order to aid the hunt of those who live in death. About Rogier. Are you acquainted with a man named Rogier? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. I serve the Golden Order, that I might put this crooked land to rights, following only the guidance of the Great Elden Ring. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the Golden Order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold, tainting its truth. And so it is, the vermin must be exterminated, down to the very last. Hmm. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I have enough smithing stones to upgrade. Either my staff or my flail. I'm gonna go with the flail. Oh, and now it's up to the next tier, so I can actually keep going. Ooh. My god. It's plus 14. What's the max you can go? Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Lascia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart. I'm sure. Interesting. Oh, also, I'm supposed to defeat Radon if I want to continue to find the city of um, Nokron. So let's ask them about Radon. General Radon, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's East. And now, Caleb has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Caleb. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Oh god, so that red land to the east, that's where Radon is, and that's why it's all red. It's all infested. The land itself is infested by Scarlet Rot. They said find the Albaneric woman who lies in a cave west of the Laskiar ruins, and those ruins are right here. Now, west of there, like, that whole poison swamp area kind of is inside of a cave that leads to the village of the Albanerics, which is actually underneath the stuff that you're seeing there. That's in the caves down below. Am I just be referring to that? Possibly. But I'm, I'm going to go here off camera just to see if I can find a cave somewhere like here. <gasps> Hello, Lakeside Crystal Cave.
A leaf? Alright. Oops. Here. So cool. Be wary of grass. I already got it. jumping ahead, but try up. Yeah, I could fall from over there. Where does this lead, though? I see you. Come out. Gotcha. Talisman. Enhances counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons. Huh. Could there be a flail talisman? <gasps> Let's fall down. Crystals. Oh, <laughs> these things are so cute. I am not killing you. So talented. You can do that at home if you just have a bunch of mints. There's no hidden path. Oh no! Oh no! Be wary of left. <laughs> Group ahead, therefore, try taking on all at once. Well, very good idea. Wait, is that just more of the snails? Oh, it is. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Oh, 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 so cute.
<laughs> Look at it. No, do the thing again. No, not that thing. Spit another ball at me. Yeep. Oh, no, not that one. Shoot the thingy. Oh, it's angry. Oh. The balls are so cool. Shoot them again. Oh, it's trying to humper me. Pih. There we go. Pih. Oh, right. Ah, I gotta be really careful here. Ah, uh, no! enemy just doesn't give you much opportunity to heal it's just constantly in your face it's hard to deal with and the blood makes it so that even though they're in your face using your shield doesn't really work actually hold on the blood thing i have something that protects me against blood don't i uh no that doesn't increase my resistance that just removes any that i currently have fire immunity robustness and focus that i think one of those Probably robustness would probably increase my resistance to blood. To blood loss. So maybe that. Stamina recovery, physical attack. Yeah, let's try that. And my flask of wondrous physique. Oh yeah, that definitely reduced the blood buildup. Ah, oh, yes. I love magic Glen Blade. Hmm. I just got this, right? Raises maximum FP. Ooh, by how much? By nine. It's actually not that good. Nine's not that much. Nah, I'm gonna stick with that stamina recovery speed. Albanoric woman? That must be them. Oh, they got a pupper. Slumbering Wolf's Shack. Aww. Uh, 
I love that the shack is the wolves and not the persons. Fell tarnished. What do you want? I told the all hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? <gasps> no. The all hearing brute. Who is that? Whoever they are, they killed the dog. That wasn't the person that gave me the tip to come here, was it? All hearing brute? Show the secret medallion. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Lobo. Show me the way. To the land of Mikola's Halib tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. Of course. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the Giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. Okay, I have not been there yet. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the Tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Mm. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Latena the Albanuric. A rare case of one who chose to become a spirit voluntarily. Latena was renowned as a deft magic archer, but having lost her beloved wolf companion, Lobo, she cannot move from the place where she was summoned. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to head east into the land of Rot.